Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the two transistor analogy of SCR and we are going to derive the expression of anode current. Okay, so as we know SCR is a PN PN device, right? So it consists of four layers P, N, P and N, right? So it is a PN PN. So P N P and N. Okay. So it is a PN PN device. Terminals are anode, cathode, and gate. Right. Further, this structure, which is a PN PN, we can divide the inner two layers right as a 50% at this side 50% at the second side okay so can we draw this structure as suppose this is p n p n p n right you can show it like this this is the anode of the scr this is the cathode of the scr and this is the gate terminal of the scr are you getting the point okay if we join these two sections we will be getting the pn pn structure okay so here it is like we are having the pn p transistor and the n p n transistor okay so further can we draw the equivalent circuit right we can draw the equivalent circuit okay i am drawing here one is the pnp transistor and second one is the npn transistor okay so we can draw the equivalent circuit here this is the anode gate and cathode okay so this one is the p n p transistor so p n p transistor and this is the n p n transistor right so p n p and n p n transistor okay so can we write suppose this is the transistor q1 this is the transistor q2 okay next so further we can write the current here is i a that is the current flowing through the scr which is equal to i a okay current flowing through the cathode is a ik current flowing through the gate is a ig okay so here also we can write this current is ig this current is ia this current is ik okay but can we say that this is the emitter terminal of the transistor q1 this is the base terminal right and this is the collector terminal okay similarly for this transistor this is the emitter terminal this is the base terminal, this is the collector terminal, okay. So here, suppose the current flowing through the emitter terminal of the first transistor, I am writing it as, right, it is like a IE1, okay, IE1, are you getting the point, this current is IE1, okay, this current is IB1 and this current is IC1, okay, here current is, this is the collector of the second transistor, okay. So we can write it as a IC2. Okay. This is like a IB2. And this one is like IK, which is equal to your IE2. Are you getting the point? Okay, what I have done? Yes, this is the emitter terminal of the first transistor, base terminal of the first transistor, collector terminal of the first transistor. This is the collector terminal of the second transistor, base terminal of the second transistor, emitter terminal of the second transistor. Okay. So here initially we were having a PN PN structure that is the actual structure of the SCR. Now from this, yes, we have divided it into the two transistors that is a PNP and NPN. Okay, so that's why it is known as the two transistor analogy of the SCR. The basic purpose of this theory is it gives the mathematical proof for the for, it gives the mathematical proof to understand how the current increases from leakage current to the high value when we circulate a small amount of gate current in the gate cathode circuitry okay 
so <coughs> yes so this is the equivalent circuit of the scr equivalent circuit of the scr okay which is the two transistor analogy of the scr okay so now before circulation of the gate current before circulation of the gate current yes our scr is in the off state right our scr is in the off state so as we know when scr is in the off state means what our both the transistors will be in the off state okay Yes, there is in the off state means what both the tra transistors will be in the off state. Okay. So now as we know in transistor, right? As we know in a transistor, in a transistor, yes, during off state, we know it is a IC is equal to alpha into IE plus ICBO. Okay. ICBO, right? Alpha into IE plus ICBO. Okay. This is the expression which is valid for all the transistors, okay, during its off state, okay. IC is equal to alpha E plus ICBO, okay. So, can we write for transistor Q1, for transistor Q1, yes, we can write IC1, instead of IC, now we are having the IC1 for transistor Q1. IC1 is equal to, let us consider alpha 1, that is the current gain, alpha 1 into IE1 plus ICBO1. Okay. Again, what is IE1? IE1 is equal to IA, right? IE1 is equal to IA. Are you getting the point? This is a IE1, right? It indicates the IE1. Okay. But IE1 is equal to IA. So we can write it as IC1 is equal to alpha 1 into IA plus ICBO1. Okay. Consider it as equation 1, right? Similarly, can we write for transistor Q2, for transistor Q2 during its off state, for transistor Q2, yes, during off state, we can write it as IC2 is equal to alpha 2 into IE2 plus ICBO2, okay. Further, we can write IC2 is equal to what? Alpha 2 into IE2. What is IE2? IE2 is equal to IK, right. So, we can write it as IK plus icbo2 okay further if we check this circuit if we check this circuit okay for this circuit we are having only one outgoing current that is the ik and we are having two incoming currents ia and iz okay so can we write ia plus iz is equal to ik yes okay so we can write ia ik replace ik with ia plus ig okay put ik is equal to ia plus iz okay so from this we can write i am writing here so therefore we can write ic2 is equal to alpha 2 into ik ik is ia plus ig plus icbo2 right icbo2 okay so further we can write it as yes suppose this is the equation number 2 okay now we are having expression for IC1, expression for IC2, okay? But for any transistor, we know emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current, okay? So, therefore, we can write for Q1, yes, for Q1, we can write for transistor Q1, we can write IE1 is equal to IC1 plus IB1, right? IC1 plus IB1. Okay, I am writing it as IB1. But can we write IB1 is equal to IC2? Yes. So we can write it as IE1 is equal to IC1 plus IC2. But what is IE1? IE1 is same as that of IA. So we can write IA is equal to IC1 plus IC2. Okay. So further we can write it as IA is equal to now can we put IC1 means equation 1. And IC2 means equation 2. Yes. So we can write it as alpha 1 into IA plus ICBO1 plus, yes, second one, alpha 2 into IA plus IG plus ICBO2. Okay. ICBO2. Now, further we can write it as, yes, therefore, can we take alpha IA at one side? So we can write it as IA into 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha 2 is equal to what? Addition of these two currents. I CBO1 plus I CBO2. Okay. I CBO1 plus I CBO2 plus alpha 2 IG. Right. 
so plus alpha 2 into i z so from this can we write i a is equal to what alpha 2 into i z plus i c b o 1 plus i c b o 2 divided by i c b o 1 plus i c b o 2 divided by 1 minus in bracket alpha 1 plus alpha 2 okay this is the expression for anode current this is the expression for anode current so please try to understand it okay I A is equal to alpha to I Z plus I C B O 1 plus I C B O 2 upon 1 minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2. Okay. So here I Z is the gate current. I A is the anode current. Okay. I C B O 1, I C B O 2, these are the leakage currents collected to base leakage current of transistor Q1 and transistor Q2 respectively. Okay. Means when the transistors are in the off state, at that time the current will be yes alpha I E plus I C B O. That is the collector to base leakage current plus alpha into I E. Okay. Are you getting the point? So, this is the expression for the anode current Ia. Okay. Two transistor analogy. Is this clear? So, we started with a SCR with as a four layer three junction device that is a PN PN. After that, we have divided the four layers as PNP and the NPN. After that, we have drawn the equivalent circuit. Okay. And by using the transistor theory, yes, we have derived the expression for the anode current Ia. This expression is very, very important. Expression is very very important okay now in the next video we are going to discuss right with the help of this expression how the anode current how the anode current builds from leakage current to the high value okay when a small amount of gate current is circulated into the gate cathode circuitry okay that is nothing but actually the significance of two transistor analogy of scr right thank you